Hello everyone, welcome to Informatica support videos. In this video, we will understand the first part of asset management command line interface part 1. Here, we will learn about list, import, import status and I am Ramanuja from Informatica Global Customer Support. So, asset management CLI uh, is a type of tool that you can use for software development lifecycle and to use this you need not have any license as this is a standalone utility and in this video we will learn about where to get the asset management CLI and uh, perform operations on list import and import status. Let us get into demo. So I have, I'm going to paste this public repository where you have all the asset management CLI uh, files based on the operating system. I will be demonstrating this in the windows and once you get this you have to download the latest uh, IACS.exe file that I have downloaded here to my asset management <coughs> and then I'm going to run the command prompt. Um, it's currently in asset management CLI. Firstly, let's learn about uh, list operation. Let me get the list operation command in the command prompt. So here IACS is the IACS.exe and list is the operation that we'll be doing. We have to choose in which region that the uh, that your org exists. So currently my uh, org exists in US. So you can know the region by seeing the URL. If it is dm-us, it would be in US pods. Or if it's dm-em, it would be in EMEA pods. So based on that, you have to choose the region and username, password, and output file name. So <coughs> IACS lists all the projects that are, uh, like all the assets that are present in the org. And it would you would need to provide output file name where it should be written and you can see users and asset management.txt log level you can have trace info i've just given basic information so let's run this so this would take some time to get all the objects at a time it is capturing 200 let's give it a minute The object that you give here should be along with the file name asset management.txt. So that is how you should be providing. Here you can add queries as well, query parameters. Uh, in the KB article that I would be sharing post this uh, recording, you would be able to see the query parameters that you can provide as well from particular folder or based on the update time depends on how your query is. Let's give it a minute. Okay, so we've logged out. Let me refresh the page. Um, you can see the all the files and assets that are present. You would see, and this convention you would see like the RSS replication task D template is a mapping. So MTT is a mapping task. Based on that, you would have the file name, and this is how it exists. So this is about list operation. Now let us go to import. Let me clear this. Let me get the import operation. So again, uh, the IACS is the IACS.exe. Import is the operation. 
the option that you would be giving region username password log level and uh, so import from an existing exported zip file so my zip file exists in import.zip like import folder import.zip this is my file that i need to import to my org so let me show my import folder to you so this is the file that i need to import so i am going to run this i have logged in and you can see submitting package in progress so it is successful let us go back to the ui and refresh the page so you can see that it was imported you can see type import this is how the import works so you have to provide the zip file and zip file path as the options this is how we can import and uh, the last test we will be doing in this uh, recording would be the import status um, let me explain what the explanation here is so if you see here IACS is the file name import status is the option and region username user password and log level info and for import status we need to provide the id that we see of the import so we would get this id in here as well or you can get the id from the url here if i will just change the id so it is successful again so this is what it explains so this is a brief demo of uh, how asset management cli works and what are the operations particularly list import and import status we will be covering the rest of uh, operations like export export status extract a zip file and uh, publishing a task flow in the upcoming videos and i will share the kv articles in the description where uh, it has a detailed explanation of what are the parameters that is to be given and in what format and the documentation link for asset management cli and the github link that you see here is the repository where the asset management cli files exist we would love to hear back from you about our support videos at support videos at the rate informatica.com or on twitter in pass support Thank you so much everyone. I hope you have a good day ahead.